Hello everyone, and welcome to part two of the Backroom Survival Guide series, which is the series, if you don't know, where I give you tips and tricks on how to survive in the backrooms. So I'm pretty much like your backrooms guide. So for today's video, I'm going to be going over how to survive levels three and four. Make sure you check out part one if you're interested in how to survive the first three levels. But without further ado, let's get into levels three and four and how to survive them. Also, before the video gets started, I do have an announcement to make. Starting today, like right now, I'm going to be uploading three full videos a week instead of the usual four. I've been uploading four videos a week, and I'm just going to cut back by one video. You're going to get a video every Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday, and in between those full-length videos, you're going to get a Backrooms Entity Short, or a Level in Short Form, or a Brugly Log each day. So you're going to get daily content no matter what. I'm doing three videos a week instead of four so I can focus on making more quality videos and more shorts and so I can get a ton more videos up on my second channel, Toogly. Now nothing will change with the content, content wise, still going to be doing my usual backroom stuff, just one less full video a week. So to recap, I'm going to be doing three full videos a week and four shorts a week, which is daily content for you all. Hopefully you enjoy, let's get into the video. So you just made it out of level two. You found the door that led to this level, which is level 3, aka the electrical station. Don't get too excited though, because this level is way more dangerous than level 2 was. But don't worry, I'm gonna walk you straight through it. The layout of this level is pretty simple. It's made up of winding hallways that lead to either dead ends or to random rooms. And some of the halls are really short, some are really long, and some of them are really skinny. So if you're tall, you might have to crouch down. On this level, there are halls that are cut off by these things that look like prison bars. These areas induce extreme fear and discomfort in anyone who walks near them. So my first tip for this level is to avoid these prison bar areas if you can. The last thing you need is extra fear on top of the fear you already have. On your walk through the cramped hallways, you'll see pipes running along the walls, kind of like the ones from level 2. Except these pipes on level 3 are full of an unknown toxic sludge that runs through them at high speeds. And sometimes these pipes leak and spray this liquid everywhere, and you need to avoid the liquid at all costs. If for some reason you have to walk past it or through it, make sure you cover your skin and your nose because the smell alone can cause your nervous system to shut down. The one redeeming thing about this level is the amount of supplies that it has. It's got tons of supplies everywhere. So my second tip is that you're gonna need to pick up as much as you can carry. There's gonna be anything from almond water to fire salt to liquid pain to squirt guns just laying around. So take everything that you can carry and make sure you walk in a straight line for as far as you can. On top of this, this level is kind of known to get hot, so make sure you're not carrying too much or exerting yourself or sweating too much so you overheat. Something very unique to this level as well is the amount of machinery at the end of some of the hallways. These machines can be really, really loud, and they can be really dangerous too if stuff breaks off, so make sure you stay away from that too. This level is home to the exact same entities that live on level 2, However, the entities here on level 3 are way more aggressive and they hunt in packs. So just to play it safe, don't go near one if you can help it. But if you can't avoid it, make sure you bring a weapon because you're going to need it. I recommend picking up a squirt gun and filling it with liquid pain to spray the entities. Now there are several outposts on this level, so you can stop by one if you need medical equipment or a place to stay that's relatively safe. The safest one is Meg Base Gamma. They have about 300 people there with whatever you need. There's also a BNTG group with around 150 members that will also help you if you need. Now the last three outposts, they won't help you at all and they're just there to get resources for their bigger outposts. Now to exit this level, it won't be too hard for you since all you have to do is find an elevator in the wall which will take you directly to the next level level 4. Or you can walk through a wooden door to be sent to level 31, but as I always say, it's best to do these in order so you can get more experience. So to recap, when you get to level 3, walk in a straight line, get as many resources as you can, be ready for any entities to attack at any time, find a meg base if you need help, and find the elevator to get out of here. And just avoid the entity hordes, and you should be fine. On to level 4. So your work has finally paid off and has gotten you to level 4. This level is really, really safe and is a place where you can finally just relax. 
and I recommend to relax. That's the first note. This level looks like a huge office building, and it's the home place of an infinite amount of almond water. You can find the almond water in pretty much anything, any container, any vending machine, any freezer, literally whatever, you can find it. So you need to collect as much as you can carry in order to stock up for the next few levels. But more importantly, you need to rest up and relax for the journey ahead. Since this is going to be the last really safe spot you'll be at for a while. If you're a social kind of person, you can meet up with the people here. There's always tons of people here since you can get almond water and stuff. There's also a meg base here that you can go to, like I said. And overall, this level is just where you need to relax and rest for a while. You made it through five hard levels to get to this level, so just take your time, fuel up, and get ready for the difficulty ahead. Because trust me, it's about to get harder. So my tips for this level, get as much almond water as you can, eat lots of food, and try to sleep well and as much as you can. You're gonna need the rest, and you're gonna need the supplies for what's coming. And yeah, that is it for the Backroom Survival Guide Part 2. I hope you enjoyed it. I love doing these because I feel like it's really unique and it's a cool thing to do. No one else is doing it, and you guys seem to love it, and I love it too. Also, I know I said in the first part of this series that I would do three levels in each video, and that's true, I'm going to be doing three levels in each video, except for this video, I just wanted to do these two, because it would have been too long if I did level 5 as well, because level 3 and level 5 would both have really long explanations, and I don't like making my videos too long, because who wants to sit and watch, you know, a 15 minute video? Not me, so... That's why I did this one with only two, but like I said, I'm going to do level 5, 6, and 7 all in the same video because I can bang those out pretty quickly. And then from there on out, I'm going to do three levels in each Backroom Survival Guide video. And also, I'm going to be bringing back the individual level explained videos back to the channel. It's been weeks since I've done one. I think level 420 or something was the last one I did where it was just a single level. However, I'm going to be doing two levels in each video. That way I can chunk together more levels at once, and that'll lead to more huge compilation videos which you all seem to love by the way and so an example of that would be instead of doing just level 13 explained I would do level 13 and 14 explained that way the video would be a better length and it would get more levels covered at once so yeah that's it for the content changes I think you're gonna like them I found that the videos perform better when I upload less I feel like four videos a week might have been too much for everybody I don't know it might have been too much for me but a video on Sunday Wednesday and Friday and shorts in between sounds great to me hope you like it let me know what you think Thank you for watching the full video if you're here. Make sure you go subscribe to my second channel, which is Toogly. If you want to see the 100,000 subscriber plaque unboxing or gaming or ranking videos or whatever else I want to upload, it's all over there. Going to be uploading a ton more over there now that I have more time. Also, thank you to my patrons and channel members, as always, for your incredible support. I genuinely appreciate it. We're at 110,000 subs as I'm recording this. That's insane to me. I thank you all so much. I seriously can't thank you enough. Thank you for watching and supporting me, and I will see you in the next video.